How's it going? Great to talk to you. Wonderful to be here. Thank you so much. Okay, so you are officially the king. The king of the nerds. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, all the Trekkies are hailing you as the new messiah. Well, that's a, a, a nice byproduct of, of making the movie. All the reviews have been fantastic. Were you concerned at all what the core Star Trek fan base, how they were going to feel about this new film? Uh, sure. You know, they're a very vocal group, and um, I, I was never I was never part of that group. I was never a fan of Star Trek, but I knew that if we didn't do a good job, that Star Trek contingent would be very loud about it. And uh, yet I also knew if we did a good job, if we made a movie that was as fun and exciting and full of you know energy and action and emotion as the script that we would also get the star trek fans so I, i'm i'm pleased that they uh that they're happy and we're on with jj abrams the director of star trek coming out in theaters this friday that must be that must have been a big challenge as far as you know you think of the name star trek and the brand everybody from my 70 year old mother to me to my three-year-old son can identify with star trek <laughs> it's it's funny because uh you know, it, it's it's one of those things that when they first asked me if I would be interested in, in producing a Star Trek movie, I kind of thought, well, the challenge that I, I was excited about was doing a version of Star Trek that would appeal to me because I, I knew that there are people, usually like friends or older brothers, you know, who, who like Star Trek, but I thought it didn't really have as broad an appeal. And despite it being called Star Trek, this is a movie that that had everything I love about movies – and it's just such a – I wanted to make a movie that was like the roller coaster you had to go on, and that was really the goal. And in doing it, it's amazing how many people have said, you know, God, you know, I'm a Star Trek fan too. I'm like, really? Like out of the woodwork, people like admit they're fans. So I'm, I'm thrilled that they're happy, and I think that – you, you never have to have ever seen Star Trek to see this movie. I think all the Lost fans last week when it was like, now, a special preview. And we, I stopped my DVR to watch the preview. It looks very, very exciting. Oh, cool. I can't wait for you to see it. Uh, we're on with J.J. Abrams, and we're getting ready for, for Star Trek. It's such an exciting movie for so many people. I think it's the most anticipated movie oh, of cool. the year. Well, I love some of the casting in it. I was reading uh, Winona Ryder is in it and Tyler Perry, and those names kind of stuck out for me. Well, Tyler Perry is someone I've been a fan of and actually kind of jealous of for a long time because he's got – He's built this industry, and uh, he's just an amazing creative force. And I, I just reached out to him and said, listen, if you want to be in this movie, I'd love it. And he had never acted in anyone else's film, and he came on and did this role, and he was fantastic. And it, I love working with him. And so he's become a friend, and, and he's terrific. And I just wanted to make sure that the movie was as, as strong, obviously, as possible, because nothing's going to matter if you don't love the characters. And we lucked out. The cast was amazing. Well, uh, we look forward to Star Trek. I have an idea. I think that you should come to Atlanta for Dragon Con, and we can get Tyler Perry together and throw a big party. What would be more fun than that? I mean, you at Dragon Con, you literally would be God. I'm in. <laughs> it's in August. Please come to Atlanta and visit us. J.J. I Abrams, it. I know you're a busy guy. Everybody needs to go see Star Trek. I can't wait. Thanks for giving us a few minutes today. Oh, thank you so much. Have a great day.